Hey y'all, it's Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. As you can see from the title, today we'll be talking about how to create an easy and simple natural hair regimen or routine. When it comes to growing long, healthy, beautiful natural hair, it can be as easy or as complicated as you want it to be. It depends on your lifestyle, your dedication, the type of hair you happen to have. Some of us have hair that takes a lot more work and time than others. So it really does depend, but it can all be done and you can have the hair of your dreams if you do choose to. I know we're in the TikTok 15 second reel era, but in real life, offline, it takes a lot of time to figure out your hair. If you don't have it figured out within days, within weeks, within months, or even within a year, it's okay. It's normal. It is a journey and it's going to take time. If you want further guidance outside of this video or you want me to help you come up with your own regimen or routine, definitely join my exclusive community, The Insider Tea, so I can get you right. You got it? Good. But before we get into it, you know what I'm gonna ask. Please give this video a thumbs up. It definitely helps to support my channel so I can know you want to see more content like this, that you like this type of content. And if you're new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around. All right, y'all. Let's dive in. When it comes to growing long, healthy, beautiful, natural hair, it really comes down to three steps, and that is to cleanse, to condition or treat, and to style. Those are the three main steps. And within those steps, you can get as complicated or keep it as simple as you want it to be. The focus of the styling step should be the same as the wash day or the cleansing and conditioning step, and that's to retain as much moisture. Most natural hair types tend to be very dry and dryness leads to breakage. So we want to keep our hair as soft and moisturized as possible. And that's why for me the emphasis is on moisture. I'm not really going to delve into products in this video because products are not important. You can use a myriad of products and you can get to the same result. You can get to the same end goal. Obviously, there are better products than others. Once you get out of that mindset and focus on your routine and your regimen, that's how you're going to see the greatest results. I will list my favorite products down below and I may mention some here or there in this video let's first start with cleansing just like with a skincare routine and cleaning the face we also have to clean the scalp to maintain its integrity its balance and its health and we do this through the cleansing process which arguably is one of the most important parts of any routine without a clean scalp you're going to have a bunch of product buildup gunk, grime, and mess on the scalp. And this buildup on the scalp can really wreak havoc on your scalp. It can lead to itching, it can lead to excessive shedding, and it can also eventually lead to hair loss. And we wanna keep the strands on our head. We don't want them to say bye-bye. So cleansing the scalp is really important. There are different types of cleansers on the market, but as for me and my regimen, and just to simplify this video as much as possible, we're going to talk about four of them. The first cleanser is a clarifying shampoo. For me, it is a sulfate shampoo. I like using sulfates in my routine every few months just to get everything off of my scalp and my hair. That may not work for everybody, but that is my routine and my regimen. I probably do it now, like every three months after I get a blowout, because I know they're using like silicones and other products that I don't really use on my hair. So about every three months or so, I go in with a clarifying shampoo, something with sulfates to strip everything off. There are also moisturizing shampoos. These are shampoos that you can use every single week. They're safe to use every single week to clean your hair and 
your scalp. There are also cleansing conditioners or co-washes, which have become very controversial in the natural hair community, but I am still team co-wash. I think it is safe to use a cleansing conditioner every single week and alternate with shampoo like once a month, once every six weeks, depending on your hair. Like shampoos, co-washes can clean the hair because they contain something that's known as a surfactant. A surfactant is going to attach to the dirt and build up on your hair and pull that mess off. They can be just as effective as shampooing when you find a great co-wash. And I'll link my favorite co-washes down below, like I said. If you're not convinced that co-washes can be used once a week, if you want to refresh your hair, maybe you're wearing a wash and go when it's not doing too well, you may not want to go in with a shampoo again. You may just want to go in with a co-wash during that mid week wash. And lastly, there's also something known as a clay wash. Now that's using a natural alternative to shampoo. That's using bentonite clay, rasool clay, or other clays that can actually clean the hair. I've been using clay washes for years now and I found amazing results with them. That's another way that you can clean your hair. I wanted to provide as many options as possible, but if you want to keep it as simple as possible, you're like, girl, that's too much, just stick to a moisturizing shampoo. There is something that I do want to mention at this point in the video because it has been game changing for me and I have seen the benefits of it in my natural hair routine and regimen, but it's definitely a luxury, definitely not necessary, and I'm putting it here in the cleansing step because it is a pre-cleanse, and that's something that has been known in the natural hair community for years as the pre-shampoo or the pre-poo. And it's in this section because it's a vital part, at least for me, of my cleansing routine. I do have a dedicated video on pre-pooing, so I definitely recommend you check it out in the cards, as I'm not going to go as in-depthly as I did in that video. Pre-pooing helps to prevent further moisture loss, it helps to protect the hair from the sometimes stripping effects of shampoo, but for me, and most importantly, I use pre-poos to detangle my hair. I used to be exclusively a person that has tangled my hair in the shower, but I found that I had much less shedded hair, much less breakage when I started detangling my hair before I actually hopped into the shower. Now let's talk about conditioning and treating, and what this step does is that it restores the nutrients, moisture, sometimes protein to our hair that is lost due to heat styling regular styling, manipulation of the hair, the wear and tear on our hair. Hair is a fiber, so everything that we do, whether we twist it out, do a wash and go, is going to wear on the hair. The wear and tear in our hair takes things away, and this step puts it back. For me, you can have conditioning products like a rinse out conditioner or a deep conditioner, or you can have treatment products, and that be a protein treatment, a light protein treatment, an elasticizer, an Ayurvedic treatment. Treatments can get very complicated, but for the most part, it's important to maintain the moisture protein balance of our natural hair. So we're just going to focus in this video on moisture and protein. With a moisturizing or conditioning product, the goal is to restore moisture, to restore hydration to the hair. I personally don't use rinse out conditioners very often in my regimen, but for those of you who may not have time to deep condition, or you're in a bind, or you're doing a midweek type of wash day, just to get you through your longer wash day, you can go in with a rinse out conditioner. For me, the most important conditioner is a deep conditioner. I don't think you need a rinse out conditioner, but I do think you need a deep conditioner. That is a hill I am willing to die on. I do have a dedicated video on deep conditioning. If you do want to see that video, I definitely recommend that you check it out in the cards, and I hope that it helps you out. I know some people skip deep conditioning, but for most of us, we can really benefit from a deep 
conditioner. There's so many on the market today. You have your moisture, but you also have your protein. When we think our hair is breaking because of moisture, it might be that we're, our hair is actually breaking because we don't have enough protein in our hair. The, the integrity of our hair has been compromised. The protein bonds in our hair have been broken and we need to restore some of that protein. Everyone can benefit from a protein treatment, but just to simplify this, I think you should do a protein treatment every six to eight weeks. You can even push it to every three months, but every now and again, you definitely want to go in with a protein treatment. If you want a dedicated video on all the types of treatments, which include Ayurvedic treatments, elasticizers, protein treatments, definitely let me know. I don't want this video to be too complicated. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I feel like it's still not as simple as possible, but I'm doing my best here. Now let's talk about the last step, which is to style. We want our natural hair to look good, right? And it do. <laughs> and it do. <laughs> For me, the style step includes moisturization as well as the physical act of styling the hair through a twist out, wash and go, band to knot, and the styling products that we use to achieve those styles. I recommend trying the LCO method or the lock method. I do have a dedicated video on these processes. You can click right here to check them out. The LCO method and the lock method is basically using a leave-in, a cream, and an oil slash butter to keep the hair moisturized. You don't need both a leave-in and a cream, but I like layering my moisture, and I talk about that in that video as well, but you do need some type of leave-in or a cream. You can choose one, a leave-in or a cream. You also want something to seal in the moisture. I personally like using an oil or a butter, but you may find that you don't need an oil or a butter. You have to really try things out and figure out what works best for you. You can achieve a style with just a gel, just a leave-in, just a leave-in and a gel, just a leave-in and a cream, just a leave-in oil and gel, just a leave-in and mousse. But as a beginner, I recommend starting out with the lock method or the LCO method. Definitely utilize that description box. There's going to be a wealth of information down there, maybe even some extra tips and tricks down there as well. And I think that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. We pray and we thank God if it was. Happy growing, y'all. Peace.